so hello everyone again welcome back to my channel uh, i'm bhavna srinivas so this is the part 2 of interview videos so um if you haven't watched my videos of part one where I am discussing about how to get into Christ University, what are the questions that uh, you would receive in Christ University uh, interviews uh, is that I have discussed in that video. So if you haven't watched that video, please do go and watch that video so that you will get a continuation of this video. So uh, I'll give the link in the description below uh, what is there in that video. So yeah, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the placement process and the placement interview questions that uh, you are going to receive in Christ University. This can be all. This can also be generalized. I'm not uh, very expert in uh, doing this video because I have no much experience in um, receiving interviews. Because, uh, yeah, I had a I had only one interview, and in that interview itself, I got selected. Uh, I don't know. It might be luck or something. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, as I have mentioned in my previous video, this video that I am doing, all the videos are exclusively for MBA aspirants. So uh, now MBA students who are in uh, the second year of their course, um, they are nearly approaching to their interview placement processes. So you uh, might have got all the uh, signals that you are going to approach the interviews. So yeah, the placement processes. So before that, I just want to say one thing. First of all, don't panic. Don't panic thinking about your interviews. I am saying it now, but I know those who are sitting there are really, really worried about their placements. I know even I went through the situation. But trust me, guys, you would be getting into one of the big fours or startups or any good company. So have that trust in yourself. So one main thing that um, I would love to say, I, I, I would um, recommend is that start your preparations for placements like three, four months before itself so that you would be relaxing at the time of your interview. Okay, preparation in the sense I meant is that refer videos there are tons and tons of videos in YouTube where you will be uh, getting uh, tips for interviews and what are what all are the questions that can be asked during an interview so please refer all those questions that is going to be uh, asked for an interview then the next thing is that the process in Christ University for interview so uh, you must have uh, around 60 percentage like 60 percentage and about to sit for placements and uh, if you are having backlog during the interview process it is not totally fine you would be able to sit for uh, the interviews unless if the company is mentioning that there should be no active backlogs so I would say that um, Please don't uh, get any, uh, try not getting any backlogs after fourth trimester. Till third trimester, it's fine. But after fourth trimester, getting a backlog, it's a big headache. So uh, try not getting one. Then uh, other thing is that you start preparing for uh, the self-introduction. Just um, try asking with other uh, students other peers your peers who have experience there are many students who have experience also in your class so you can ask seek their help if you're a fresher seek their help seek the help of your teachers mentors ask them about what sh you should add in your introduction so according to my suggestion you can go your introduction can be can be in a story manner i have told this in my previous video it's uh, also your introduction is can uh, can be in a story manner so first you have to tell your name your place it's not necessary every time you have to add your family members in your introduction too but if you want you can add then you come to your education like where did you complete your education from your UG if you're doing a master's program your UG uh, other uh, like other things if you're doing a, a UG program like BBA or engineering or anything you can tell about your high secondary education then uh, tell about your experiences uh, like if you are an experienced person which all company did you do your uh, work in then what all internships you have done you can tell about that then you can tell about your um, hobbies interest like curricular co-curricular activity passion everything 
this itself would be enough for your self introduction so telling these things in a very precise manner by and you can by heart it but uh, please don't uh, tell it in a way that they'll think that you have by heart it just take the interview as a formal conversation process just be pleasantable just smile uh, not too much but just give a pleasant face and be confident you might have that stress in yourself inside you but never show that out just be presentable other thing is that uh, i forgot to tell you is that one main thing before going to an interview you should do is that be in a formal attire you should be looking smart i told in the other video itself uh, if it is in christ university you would be having your blazers you would be having a uniform in christ university university so that is what you have to wear in christ university so uh, every time when you go for an interview you would have a white shirt and a blazer and a shoe i mean and a uh, pant and preferably you need to wear a shoe and boys will be having a tie so uh, a red tie so this is this is compulsory and for other uh, others who are going for interviews they should also be in this attire in this attire this would give you uh, this would give them a sense of uh, feeling that okay this student is good because the first impression is the best impression as i say in every interviews i mean every videos so you should be looking smart you should be well groomed boys should be well groomed with their beard hair everything should be well groomed and girls also you can go for a ponytail or a, a clean uh, look so yeah not too much of makeup and all those stuff so that would be um, going good wear a watch and uh, clean polished shoes this would be uh, well enough so if you are looking presentable itself they would be having a good impression on you now i am going to talk about the uh, interview process placement process that is happening in christ university so the students who are in second year would be as i told you would be um, approaching your placement process soon so get ready guys <laughs> yeah so um, you would be getting your company mail from around september october that depends upon each year we started getting on september itself uh like for each department each specializations um the companies would be coming different maybe the companies would be coming for different role and uh, for uh, like in different wavelength so for it, it, like people would say like hr have less company marketing have more companies they are getting more hired and all those stuff but it is not like that companies are coming for uh, uh, for different specialization according to the requirement of their um, employees so um, like for hr as uh, i am an hr in um, christ you know as i was an hr as i am an hr like um, you would start getting your for us it was like initially we started getting more companies then at a point of time there were no companies at all then at the end end of the uh, year i mean and and like around a uh, ma april and may and all companies started coming a lot of companies started coming like big force big force would surely come okay so big force would surely come so um yeah like companies would start coming during this time and um once the companies start coming please read the jd proper jd properly you have to read the jd and check according to if if the role is good enough for you package let it be if you are a fresher i would say that uh, your initial package would be well enough it is about 6 lpa itself in christ university the average package itself is 6 lpa so i would say like um, package is not a matter of thing but if it is a role if i am so i can say i am not interested in compensation role so if a compensation role comes don't apply don't worry you would get companies and if you're okay with any role and if you're okay with any location just apply to everything it's just simple as that then go for the interview like for, before going to the interview every interview happens in central campus banarg i mean um, delhi ncr and uh, pune lavasa is different but bgr yashwantpur and um, kengeri campus people have to travel to uh, 
central campus to give the interview some interviews might be online some interviews might be offline so you have to carry some uh, resumes in your hand like a copy of some resume of your resumes and then you have to uh, attend the interview so this is the process it happens like uh, till may and all so till may and in between this you would be having coaching from uh, christ itself you would be having uh, general knowledge quiz uh, then uh, aptitude test for some uh, companies they might be telling uh, for s so uh, some requirements of the company as I told it it might be different so in different um, companies there might be different requirements so you would be they, they would be asking for aptitude test skill assessment test two three four rounds of interviews so it depends upon dip different companies so for aptitude test also they would be giving you um, coaching so you would be having tests and all those things so uh, training also they would be giving and then in christ university itself they, there is a uh, event where uh, our christ alumni would come and uh, take your interviews take your mock interviews so all those mock interviews also would be happening and in your uh, private mentorship itself uh, under your mentor mentoring uh, in, during your mentoring classes you would be having a mock interviews and that you have to ask with your mentors have a discussion with your mentors have a good rapport with your mentors so that you can um you can have that uh, talk between uh, talk about your uh, roles talk about your uh, talk about the company do a good research on company other thing is that do a good research on company there are lots and lots of companies that are approaching christ so do a good research on the company on the internet if you are not familiar with the company like there are companies like um, Deloitte there are big fours like Deloitte KPMG and all those companies which are good companies uh, like you know but there are companies which are startup and uh, there are companies which are not even familiar with anyone so just do a research on the company go to their LinkedIn then other thing is that have a good LinkedIn profile being professional is one of the key role that you have to do as a student especially as an MBA student so having a good LinkedIn profile is one of the main thing that you can achieve for being a prof for showing your professionalism you can add your LinkedIn profile to your resume also other thing is that have a good resume you can go online and search for good resumes and create your own resumes make sure that you create your resume in one page itself one or two page it's it's is uh, good enough so uh, please do not make it like three four pages of resumes uh, write everything that is possible in your resume is not good so make a good resume seek the help of your professional teachers teachers like uh, teachers peers and everyone on how to make resumes so resume dress code then your communication while you're talking to uh, the interviewer you would be having three four panels like in that you might also have group discussion also so i forgot to tell uh, apart from aptitude and interview my you might have group discussion so for me the company which came for me is aditya birla so in aditya birla um they had um they they were hiring for ba hr los and marketing so there were many many students who applied for aditya birla fashion and retail and um, they had created a gd in gd after completing gd they will i mean group discussion they will select certain people and they'll uh, set the personal interview and for personal interview they would ask certain questions so you can you can go and search in google like what are the questions that can be asked so basically they are going to ask what like uh, go through your resume give me a short introduction of your yourself then um then yeah they will be if it is a pure hr role or pure finance role pure marketing role they will ask technical questions they will ask questions relating to your what you have studied so what you have studied um like they will be asking if it is a talent acquisition role they'll be asking related to talent acquisition recruitment and all those things what you have studied so just go through everything then they might ask law related questions if you are an hr so you know you have the subject of er and ir so uh, you have to go through about that you should have a good knowledge on all the act and all the um rules 
and things then some basic knowledge of the pf and all the salary structure and all those things compensation related so have a knowledge on everything every subjects that you have studied in your subject so that you can answer it uh, clearly then then the other important question they'll ask is what is your strength and weakness so they'll ask about your strength and weaknesses so yeah that's a very tricky question so in that itself they will trick you a lot so um if you have a good enough strength and weakness that is good if you don't have if you're not getting anything make up something so that uh, that that is um, matching the role okay so for example if you are going for uh, training and uh, you are going for diversity and inclusion role you can say that i am a very inclusive person so uh, inclusivity is one uh, good thing that i have so that is one thing you, that you can say as a positive so like your strength and your weakness also you can say according to that so uh, yeah that is uh, one thing that is very important then the other question they might ask is that uh, why this company so have a good research on your company so that um, you 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 can impress them so one way to impress the comp- corporates is that you are talking good about i mean you have that good knowledge on their company they should th- they should feel that okay you have researched on, about their company so you can tell about that other thing is situation based questions so again uh, they might ask some situation based questions relating to your uh, specialization and knowledge so you can creatively talk according to that then uh, please don't stammer a lot or have fillers or uh, be confused take your time if you don't know certain answers and if you need time tell them have the courage to tell them that uh, can i take a few minutes they would definitely be okay with that take your time think for a minute and then answer don't spontaneously answer everything that you know okay that is one thing then uh, other thing important thing is that in christ university for every interviews mostly for every interviews they will ask about your sip your summer internship project so you should have a really well versed knowledge on your sip you need to know good about your internship that you have done what you have done what is the role you have done what uh, achievements you have received and what um, what are the things that you have provided to the company so all those things you should have a really good knowledge on your sip on your internship what you have done there so internship is another thing that is really important you have to prepare on that yeah so i think i have um i have touched almost every areas of the interview then other questions are purely um, according to them like what they ask then they then you have to have a good knowledge on a role that's another thing if you are going for a talent acquisition role or if you are going for an advisory role consultant role or anything like that you should have a knowledge on that particular role do a good research take your gd and put it in chat gpt and ask to give some uh, insights about this job role just go to um, any 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 sites and then just search for that role just write the key points in your notebook have a notebook which uh, in which you can keep all the things that it write all the things that you uh, need for an interview so yeah that's another thing which you can practice which is a good thing so yeah these are all some important things that you should keep in mind before going to an interview so please be confident uh, they should not feel that this is the only job left in front of you this is the only opportunities that is left in front of you it's not you have a tons and tons of opportunities in front of you be confident whatever you speak that matters so you're confident that matters so uh, if you don't know also you can tell them like i don't remember now you should be confident enough to say things so um be pleasant be in a good attire be formal look smart be smart and answer smartly then just go with all the rules and regulations have basic knowledge on your uh, on what role you are going to do have good research on the company you are that you are going to um, attend for then uh, one more thing is that they would ask you a question like if you have any question for us the company might ask you should definitely ask one question 
any question is fine except you should not ask anything about the salary or anything but yeah you can ask the growth opportunities that you are going to have if you are getting hired what are the growth opportunities that the company is going to provide you uh, how the company is retaining the employees in the uh, employees then you can ask about the journey of the uh, company and all those things you can ask several questions that also you would get in google you would get a lot of things in google please do a good research please prepare well be confident so all these things are the only things that you that is mattered have a copy of your resume so yeah all these things would be good enough to get selected uh, to a good company so yeah these all are the things that should be matter you should be presentable in front of everyone so you got it guys so all the very best for your interviews and uh, do let me know if you get into a good company and uh, please do comment down below if you have any questions relating to christ university or interview process or anything please do comment down below i would be more than happy enough to help you if you have any doubts you can also dm me on my instagram which is bhavana srinivas itself so yeah that's all about the question um, i mean question answer session or uh, interview answering session everything so thank you so much for watching my video see you in my next video uh, till then take care bye